Hey, this is Scott. And yeah, this is Jay. Hey, this is Scott and Jay's show. We're here at Starbucks Studios with Candace and the Starbucks crew. And uh, so what's going on, Jay? How much uh, beautiful weather out today? Gorgeous. Man, hey. Hey, y'all, you might keep it down. We told you we were running Scott and Jay's show, so. <laughs> no respect, no respect. Man. So, um... Here in Bartlesville, coming up in Bartlesville, we got the car show up in Dewey. Oh man, it's fantastic! Went up there last night and drove around, looked at some of the cars, and they are just absolutely gorgeous machines. Gorgeous machines. Gorgeous machines. Which one did you like the best? Um, <clears throat> they had some really cool old Fords down there. They had the old Roadsters and uh, lots of uh, old '50s style Chevys and Cadillacs. They're just Lots of excellent, excellent cars. Just beautiful paint jobs and, and uh, loud mufflers. And it's good. So, uh, let's see this here. Tomorrow, as you know, as we were talking about a while ago, you know what tomorrow is? It's the 4th of May. Of May. So, May the, May the 4th, 4th be with you. Yeah. Yeah. So, yeah. There'll, so, be, there'll be that Okay, on, so we were talking Facebook about that. Yeah, we were talking about Twitter. that today, and, you know, Star Wars, they, they announced their upcoming movie, uh, they announced the, they announced the staff, or the, the cast that's going to be in the movie. Number seven. Yeah, and, uh, you know, Mark, be a good one. Mark Hamill's coming back to reprise his role of uh, Luke Skywalker. J.J. Abrams. Yeah, yeah, so, yeah, so lots of uh, originals are coming back, and... Uh, <laughs> That's behind the scenes uh, camera work there. That's funny. Uh, so yeah, they're coming back. They announced it this week, but you would have thought they'd announce it tomorrow, since tomorrow it is, is Star Wars Day. Yeah, May the May Fourth. The fourth. With you, yeah. But uh, yeah, someone uh, the PR guy throwing get fired over that one. Yeah, they yeah. they weren't thinking. No. Yeah, you know, there's some true geeks that are out there. Wait a minute. That's us. That'd be me. Shoot. So, <laughs> drop that subject. That was weird. So, the uh, six of the six movies, which one do you think is the best? Uh, gotta be, man, gotta be Phantom Menace. Just brilliant acting. <laughs> oh. No, actually, my yeah, favorite. Empire Strikes Back. Empire Strikes Back. Yeah. 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 The best of all the, uh, all the Star Wars movies. Yeah. So, uh,. Uh, iPhone or the App Store has the uh, apps out now for Star Wars. There's a new one out called it's called Star Star Wars Journeys. And with each with each uh, film, uh, they have an app. And so the newest app is the uh, Phantom Menace one. I bought it for six ninety nine. It's still downloading six ninety nine. Yeah, that's like uh, crazy insane for an app, but. Especially for a Star Wars app, but there are some. I haven't even uh, seen it yet. Freebies. It's still, it's still downloading. So I downloaded yeah. a new Legos, the Saga Journey. Oh, did you? Legos. How yeah. was that? I haven't played that one yet either. But I, I did play. There was one for ninety nine cents. I bought it last night. And it, it uh, it's the uh, mini micro racer. It's it's really kind of cool. It's kind of like uh, the old the old game nineteen forty two, the pilot. Um, where uh, you're you're flying an airplane and you you, know, you start out with like a machine gun and it's shooting down planes and then you get these weapons and it starts shooting down bigger weapons and the more you fly the more you shoot down the more weapons it's the same thing with this one uh, so much much the same one it's kind of fun could be a little bit addictive so right. you gotta watch that Tonight, Disney, uh, Magical Music of Disney with the Bartlesville Symphony Orchestra at the Bartlesville Community Center. So that's going on, so you'll be just want to sure do one. Uh, be sure and check that out. Absolutely, that's going to be a lot of fun. And sports. Uh, sports, Rangers won last night. Did you Rangers know that? Won? Yeah. Um, they... Sterling got all in trouble this week and got... Uh... Yeah, I, you know, I'm, I'm kind of tired of that story, actually. <laughs> it's just, he, he, what he said was wrong, but... In my opinion, you know what everybody else is saying about him now. I mean, like Snoop Dogg is going off on him, and uh, lots of other people are, are calling him probably even worse things than what he said. Yeah. Granted, it's not about a single race; it's about a single guy. Right. Uh, but you know, 
besides the point. I mean, he, uh, that that's old news, and uh, doesn't yeah, believe she would record his. Uh, she would record their yeah, conversation kind of, and then turn crappy. it over to the the girlfriend or whoever. Yeah, nobody nobody did write that whole story. Yeah, so kind of a bad deal. Does does the punishment fit the crime? Speaking of crimes, we botched an execution this week. Oh, I know. Golly. That's pretty horrible. No, I, I had my uh, my belief behind all that challenge today. Oh, you did? Yeah, so you know, I've, always been, I've always been very pro-execution. Uh, you know, I think you did the crime, you, you need to pay for it. But there is an off chance that we could be killing an innocent person. And the worst thing that the state could do is take somebody's life. And the first thing in, in uh, the Constitution is to protect the life, liberty, and pursuit of happiness. And that's taking life. Vengeance is mine, says the Lord, so maybe we shouldn't be carrying out the Lord's business in vengeance. Yes, yes. Let him have his own vengeance. That's my challenge today, but... Uh, for the most part, I'm still kind of for it, uh, especially in this guy's case. Did some heinous stuff. Yeah, it was pretty bad. And, yeah. uh, you know, God still carried out the ultimate reward for him is that he did take his life. So Yeah. So, yeah. So we brought this thing, all, all this thing down. We, we brought down this conversation. And, and this. No, I see what you're saying. And... Uh, You know, he just got screwed up as all. Well. Yeah, I did. It did. It was and it, unfortunate. Looking at the timeline it on on it all, I think the circumstances kind of made sense. What happened? He refused to eat all day, and he had been tasered earlier that day because he refused. He had? Yeah, he refused to go get um, a, some physical stuff done to him uh, to, to check him out to make sure that he was fit to die. Kind of weird, <laughs> but. Um, He'd gone to the doctor, and but they he wouldn't take the restraints to be put on. And it was also in transition to move him to the, the block where they do that. Mm-hmm. And so um, he'd been tasered. He tried to cut his wrists before that. Hey. Um, so it was just kind of a weird, all weird, weird stuff. And they, they couldn't find a vein in his neck. They couldn't find a vein in his arm. They finally found one in his groin. Ooh. And... Uh, wow. Didn't know all that. Yeah, I read the read the report. It was pretty pretty brutal. Whew. So uh, I, so Oprah Winfrey might be buying the L.A. Clippers. Yeah, I was kind of hoping that uh, yeah, Magic she's in Star Johnson Wars. Would have. I mean, she's in Star Wars, Starbucks. Starbucks. Yeah, she's, uh, yeah. she's all in the chai tea thing. So Ooh, the ubiquitous Oprah. I wish she would come in here and say. Uh, you know, Oprah's favorite things and give it away to us right now. That'd be fun. Oprah's favorite thing! <laughs> yeah, so there you go. There there you have it. The, uh, you get a vermissimo. Ver- ver- you get a vermissimo. Everybody gets a vermissimo. <laughs> I watched Dumb and Dumber the other day. Best movie, be- one of the best movies of the 90s. I don't care. Girls talking to him, and born into death at the bar. She's totally setting him up, and he doesn't even get it. Just want to make sure you're okay in there. Oh, and by the way, the toilet doesn't work. What are you doing there? I'm shaving. Oh, uh, shaving? Be out a minute. Pretty bird, pretty bird, <laughs> pretty bird. What a pathetic loser. Hey, no offense. <laughs> I'm taking. Wait, stop, stop, wait. We made a mistake. It's that no. way. <laughs> man, when are we ever going to catch up, <laughs> Oh, man, classic. I had to watch Frozen this morning. Got about halfway through it and had to make breakfast. And I watched singing. Frozen. I've been singing Let It Snow from the whole all morning. Nice. I watched Let Frozen and fell asleep through about the first 15 minutes of it. Actually, we were on a bus to uh, to Tennessee, and it was pretty boring. 
So Scott's talking to other people now, so it's now turned into the Jay's show, because I'm just like, the only one talking, and Scott's just laughing. You're going to make it to the market? See, he's still talking to other people. Thursday? Yeah, so this, this is riveting. We're actually going to edit this out in post, post-production, so uh, we'll, we'll cut all this part out. And, oh, yeah. Uh, Scott's just kind of off in his own little world. Right. And it's really kind of fun, because, you know, he sits there and talks about things, so I'm going to switch it over to me. Yeah. Anyway, it's all about the Jay Show today. So, on the Jay Show, we're going to be talking about...